Amongst the 16 starters lining up to run the course of 26 and a quarter miles are from the right, Prentice Australia, Richards Wales, who ran second in the last Olympic marathon, Holden England, and coming into line, Leet South Africa. They're away, and the four New Zealanders, Clark, Bromley, Fox, and Lydiard, take the lead. Under threatening skies, they run half a lap of the arena and move out through the stand. As they leave Eden Park, the order is Bromley, Clark, Fox and Lidgett, New Zealand, Fedoric, Canada, Prentice, Australia, Patterson, Scotland, Norman, Canada, Leap, South Africa, Emerton, Pottage and Stanley, Australia, Coty and Collins, Canada, and tailing the field, Holden, England and Richards, Wales. Two miles and the leaders are Elite South Africa, Lidgett and Bromley New Zealand, Prentice Australia and Fedoric Canada. Five miles and rain is beginning to fall. Out onto Mangere Bridge, Holden England and Richards Wales have moved up into the leading group with Elite South Africa. With a third of the course covered, the field is spreading out, Holden leading by 50 yards from Leap. As the steady rain becomes a downpour, competitors make for shelter and so do the spectators, where they can. Back on the marathon course, Holden has increased his lead to 200 yards from Leap. 130 yards behind, Apprentice Australia, Bromley and Clark New Zealand and Richards Wales. to go and Holden England who has discarded his soggy shoes is still leading from Leith of South Africa. Running third is Clark of New Zealand. Stanley of Australia has moved up into fourth place and is closely followed by Richards of Wales. Holden now has a firm lead of three minutes and is steadily increasing it. His impassive face shows nothing of the pain he must be suffering from his bare and blistered feet. Three miles, two miles, it seems that nothing can stop him now. And so to Eden Park, an excited murmur from the crowd swells to a roar as Holden enters the arena. around the track with still a lap to go, the soft grass a welcome relief to his blistered feet. The 42-year-old Englishman moves steadily along, more than four minutes ahead of the rest of the field. With 26 and a quarter grueling miles behind him, Holden crosses the finishing line, still apparently tireless. His time, 2 hours, 32 minutes, 57 seconds. Next comes Leap, sprinting the last 100 yards. The 24-year-old South African's time is 2 hours, 37 minutes, 2.2 seconds, just over 4 minutes more than Holden's. Two and a half minutes later, Clark, New Zealand, comes in, followed by Stanley, Australia, who starts his last lap as Clark finishes the course. Fifth is Richards of Wales, and the crowds remember his magnificent run into second place in the 1948 Olympic marathon. Of the 16 starters, all but three completed the course in this, one of the major events of the 1950 Empire Games. <laughs> 